Uh, a brother says, what if I urinate between my ghusl? Do I have to start from the beginning again? First of all, we have to differentiate between performing ghusl and performing wudu. Performing wudu is a continuous process. So if you start with washing the face, turning the water in your mouth, and uh, rinsing your nose, washing your arms to the elbows, um, uh, wiping over your head and your ears, washing your right foot to the ankles. While you were washing your left foot, you passed uh, uh, wind. This is a whole unit. Your wudu is broken. It's no good. It's invalid. You have to begin from the uh, start from the beginning. Ghusl, on the other hand, is different because Ghusl was mandated due to ejaculation, intercourse, or menses. So once you begin the process of Ghusl, you are actually uplifting the major ritual impurity, which is either Janaba or Hayd or Nifas. Now, if you urinate during this process, during uh, performing ghusl, this has no impact on your ghusl. It has impact on your wudu. Hence, after you finish your ghusl, you must perform wudu if you want to, uh, 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 to pray afterwards. If there's no time, if, if you're going to bed, for example, and you're performing ghusl after having uh, intercourse with your wife, and during the process, you urinate. And then you finish your ghusl and move on. You don't have to perform wudu because you're not going to pray. But if you want to pray, you must perform a wudu because by urinating, your major ritual impurity has been uplifted. There's no problem because of the ghusl. But you, your, your minor uh, ritual impurity is still on because of your uh, urinating.